Hey, hey, hey guys, F -f Fire here, and thanks for ch ch joining me as I re review the Stealth F 500 and Stealth 600 headsets, which are the latest headsets from Ch Turtle Beach. So if you didn't know right away, the these headsets are mode made both for Xbox and uh, PlayStation. They have different versions based because the consoles are different, but they all connect and work with PC and mobile and Nintendo Switch. So when it comes to those platforms, it doesn't matter really which one you get. It kind of just comes down to which color box you want and if you uh, want to have which either the 5 or the 600. Um, additionally, the big differences are kind of going to be just which of the next-gen systems you want it to be compatible with. So maybe you're going to get one in the future, maybe not. That's r really up to you. Now, the Stealth 600 series has been around for a while. This is actually the third generation of this. But this is the first time we've had the Stealth 500 series. So... I'm going to pull these boxes out of the way here for a second, and then I'm going to bring it and let's talk about these headsets, each kind of individually first. So right here, we have the Stealth 500. This is going to be the little bit cheaper headset that comes in at $80. It's going to have kind of like faux leather uh, kind of earphone cushions. It's got a kind of elastic headband strap and it features a retractable mic here that you can actually turn the adjustment and to have it move a little bit closer to your mouth now the mic always retracts in so if you ever want to use it and not talk as well as that's also going to be how you mute your mic by just kind of clicking it up here honestly these are a decent kind of I don't want to say budget because these are both kind of coming in at a very similar price, but they're both the decent headsets. I'm going to set this one here aside real quick, and then I'm going to introduce you to the Stealth 600 third generation headsets. So we'll set that right over here. So this headset features kind of a more like memory-esque foam, faux leather-esque kind of headband that honestly is a little more comfortable than this kind of uh, elastic band. But the big difference here is you're going to get these nice kind of fabric soft ear cushions and additionally you're going to get ai mic noise reduction that's going to help keep out outside noise which isn't going to be factored into the stealth 500s and only starts at the stealth 600s these also feature that very same retractable mic that kind of ticks in and outward goes both ways and both of these headsets connect to your console using a little wireless dongle it's usb it kind of just plugs into the console as well as they both feature USB-C ch ch charging and then a varied set of buttons for whatever kind of your audio needs are. Now let's talk about kind of the differences here. Really the big differences you're going to get here is the type of headband you're going to get up to top. You have the kind of elastic band versus the more kind of cushiony foam-esque faux leather wrapped kind of headband. You're also not going to have the AI noise reduction on the Stealth 500. That's only going to exist here on the Stealth 600. For a $20 price difference in these headsets, I honestly think you're better off to go with the Stealth 600 right off the bat. And I think the Stealth 500, although it comes in okay, being only $20 in price difference, when you're already probably looking for a little more premium headset, you're kind of gonna wanna kind of steer toward this direction. So with that being said, I'm gonna I'm gonna recommend the Stealth 500s if you maybe it's your first foray into these type of headsets, but if you're looking for kind of an upgrade, I think the Stealth 500s are gonna be a headset that you can kind of set off to the side. This is gonna be where you're gonna kind of get the nice, better quality $100 headsets that feature just, this is just so much more comfortable in how they work. These both feature pretty extensive battery lives. Um, I will say this one lasts up to 80 hours on a single full charge, but this one's only gonna last 40 hours. So I guess there is a little bit of a difference there, but to be honest, most gamers are gonna plug their headsets in far before you ever hit, hit those kind of points. So, which I always recommend every couple days, just plug your headset in, keep the batteries at full, full charge and kind of keep it up and going. Now, where do you kind of go from here? And how does this compare to some of the more, I guess, pricier headsets? For, 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 for me, my daily driver has been these Stealth Pro headsets. These are extremely higher price pointed. Um, and I do have a re review on the channel if you want to go to check these out. Um, just go check out my channel as well. This comes in at over three times the price point at 330 bucks. So for $800, this is by far an amazing bang for your buck when in terms of headsets and stuff. This is becoming my daily driver. It's been I've tested it with gaming, but it's also becoming my daily working driver headset. And it's just extremely comfortable. Like you don't feel like... 
you're kind of overheating with any type of a headset and it doesn't kind of feel overbearing or kind of weighty or anything like this is super light and additionally you know the stealth 500 is extremely light and comfortable as well it's just for me i just still prefer the kind of memory foam kind of fabric wrapped kind of headset line or feel i know it may not be exactly memory foam but it, it feels like it um they're both fairly durable they are kind of plastic build builds so you kind of get a little more metal in the stealth 600 versus the 500 is kind of more of a plasticky feel so if you're kind of wanting something with oh, just a little more weight the 600s are kind of kind of be probably a better go i would say jumping from like gen 2 to gen uh th three for the 600s you're kind of getting just a little bit more probably don't necessarily need to upgrade yet maybe wait for gen 4 if that ha happens or consider going into the even higher premium to tier line of Turtle Beach headsets. Overall, guys, I think these are both solid headsets. Again, the Cell 600 st still lands as a much better bang for your buck, in my opinion, and that's why the Cell 600 is going to win between the two, but you still have a nice optional setup for if you want the little bit cheaper option for these Stealth 500s and to save 20 bucks. Overall, guys, I'd love to hear what you think of my review down below in the c c comments. If you have any questions about what Turtle Beach headset might be go good for you, please let me know. As always, th 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 thanks for checking out my channel, and I hope to see you again soon.